So probably one of the most famous combos for the Shure SM7B is using now this new Elgato low profile microphone arm. And I have to say it's beautiful. It's a really nice piece of art. I really like it. However, I have found three main design flaws with this device. The first comes from the microphone. If we look at the microphone, you can see that Shure is upside down. So we're gonna fix that. You can also see that here, uh, these wires, this is just unacceptable, folks. We can't be seeing these wires. Also on the bottom, this is the main flaw. Whoever designed this arm, why does the XLR cable come through the top instead of the bottom? In fact, even on the marketing website of Elgato, the images that they have, it shows that even with their own microphone, they have this exact same problem. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to fix all three of those problems, how to eliminate these wires. So let's start with step one. So when we take it out of the box, we can see that the build quality is really well. There are these long panels that are magnetic that cover the XLR cables. There's a hole at the top. We're gonna to use that hole as a guide to drill through and make a hole on the other side. Now you can use any uh, regular drill bit just to start that pilot hole, just a small hole, and then we're gonna switch over to a step drill bit that will then expand the diameter of that uh, circle and make it big enough for the XLR cable to go through. So here just drilling from one side and then flipping over and drilling to the other side using one side as a pattern and then making that hole the correct diameter. Here you go, you can see from the perspective of the camera, as long as the XLR cable is going through the bottom, that will be hidden from the camera. But now we need to turn this XLR cable to the left away from the camera and flip that microphone. First step is to unscrew here and make sure that when we unscrew that we keep all our washers in place. Now before we replace and uh, screw back on the microphone, we wanna take a uh, Allen wrench just to unscrew this screw here so that we can flip around and turn the XLR cable away from the camera so that it is hidden. Now when you add these washers back to your microphone, there's a little bit of a trick here. You're gonna to wanna to add these first two first, but there's something really important uh, once you add these first two to make sure that the tension is correct on your microphone when you finish all these steps in order. And that is when you take this uh, little circular gold piece here, uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that goes all the way through these two washers and that it actually touches the microphone. That way there will be tension when you re-screw this device. And now that uh, you finish these steps, you just screw that back on, make sure the wires are facing away from the camera, making sure that all XLR cables are hidden from the perspective of the camera, and you're good to go. Well, hopefully this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know below, and uh, don't forget to download your graphics.